the day already starts perfect. I just got another package and that one contains the last missing piece to complete the gear in the studio. So I'm extra, extra excited. Next up, meeting Justus at his studio really quick. I need some feedback for two new tracks that are finished. And this box right here is so valuable. I can't leave it in the car. It's quite heavy. But this area right here is among the worst in the city. So I need, I need to be careful. Justus is the best person on the planet. He got me some snacks. <laughs> I don't know, on purpose or you forgot it here? <laughs> I just left it here. You know I'm going to kill it entirely. Okay, you're Extra ready. for you, yeah. you're just three. <laughs> three. That's a diet version. But yeah, I, I was just telling them, like, I can't leave it in the car, the, mm. the package. Mm. Uh, your studio was once someone tried to rob or was there Yeah, something? actually, yeah, yeah. Someone uh, broke in, but... Uh, Did they steal anything? Unfortunately, they were just looking for some money, some okay. cash lying around. Quick and, cash, yeah, no didn't equipment. Find, didn't find anything and then they just left, so wow. really lucky. I would have taken everything. <laughs> There's so much outboard gear here, nice speakers. But yeah, let's listen to... I got two songs finished and I need feedback. Okay, great. Perfect. And some snacks. Can you believe someone breaks in there and isn't even interested in that gear? I mean, there's nothing better than, than gear. Nothing more satisfying. <sighs> than that new gear smell. I love it. <sighs> Manual stickers, who needs that? Power cable, USB cable. This right here, whoa, is a new monitor, controller, interface, and summing device. It was really hard to get it due to COVID. A lot of parts aren't available. So waited like six weeks or something like that. It feels good. Like, I don't know why, but like knobs, they have to have like a certain, certain feel of quality to them very very smooth there's there's just like one one huge problem and it involves the biggest mess in this entire studio right here you see it has to go right here into the table basically replacing this monitor controller but since the new unit is a rack unit it needs to go in here the best spot would be right here so I have to move this, if I move this, I also have to move this, and then I also anyways wanted to move this right here. So a whole lot of moving and the biggest problem, millions of cables. <laughs> but maybe it's also a good time to, to declutter that cable mess. As always, this took way longer than expected, but you're now witnessing the first time that this entire table is full. There is no more spot available. This means maybe, probably, maybe not, no more gear. At least whenever I get new gear, I need to exchange it for something. That's the complete setup. Some of the routing isn't done yet because this one right here has summing. It needs to be integrated. But since I'm working on quite a lot of songs right now, I don't want to mess with it because I'm very happy with the mixing of them. But now, the moment of truth. Yeah. That wasn't so good. Entirely lost track of time. Entirely, entirely, a really bad case of lost in gear, making music, all that stuff. It's almost nine. I promised to be back at seven. Who cares? Now it's anyways too late and, and my girlfriend will punch me when I get home. Just kidding for the ones that take it too serious. But yeah, this device right here, it's fun. I mean, it's just a monitor controller. There's like, but there are some small things I actually like. 
Bluetooth, I can stream music from my phone. If I have someone here who wants to listen to something, I just hit Bluetooth and I can listen to it on the big speakers. It also has an interface with like out one and two. So I can select analog and I just listen to what my normal interface is outputting, just the standard stuff. But I can then switch to USB and in Logic, not in Logic, in, in Mac OS, there is like a MIDI control thing where you can, basically I'm having like two interfaces now, where you can sum them up into one virtually. So I have selected in Logic channel 1 to 32, just my normal ins and outs. And then channel 33 and 34 is the USB one. So I can have a fully mixed song and then a rough mix by a client and I can switch between what I've mixed to what what they've mixed. And it's not going through the outboard gear, it's not being affected in any way. I can change the volume within the DAW and then volume match and A and B compare or so. It's amazing. Always wanted to have that on like just a button really close. Also here this wheel, you can push it to mute, you can rotate it, like the, the usual stuff. Another little feature I love, well, let's say I want to switch something to mono. I can just push it and it's mono, but I can also hold it, it's mono, and if I let go, it's not mono anymore. And it works with every single button. That's smart, that's something I like. I wish everything would have that kind of built in. And there are also some problems, unfortunately. This one right here has like eight channels of summing. So I thought it would be smart to also use them plus the summing I already have, which gives me in total 24 summing channels, which is kind of nice. But then again, this controller was set up for my eight summing channels, so I can mute and solo them. That's not working anymore. So I have to recalibrate this one right here. I had to go down and like redo all of the cables. If you now think that all of the cables are nice and in order, I can assure you that's absolutely not the case. It's still a mess. And I know people hate me for it, but you have to keep on hating me for it. This will stay a little longer. Once the table is fixed, once COVID, or at least the lockdown is over and I can go to a DIY store and buy stuff, I will fix the table, just some small adjustments, all of the cables in there. Like, it will be all fine, trust me. And if you're now thinking, John, you're wasting way too much time building the studio, cables, gear, just make music, I can assure you, I make music every day, at least for four to maybe six hours, sometimes even eight, even today, although I got some new gear that all of the cables, I actually worked on music. And I'm really proud because it was one of the songs where I was so stuck, I didn't know what to do. I reworked it entirely, started from scratch again, and it's now, it's still not mixed, it's still not finished, but it's at a point where I see the vision and I know I will finish it, and I'm really happy with it. And that song is Ashes, you know it, we did the remix competition, that was a huge mistake. A lot of note to myself, never ever again, start a remix contest of a song that I haven't even finished. I feel so bad towards the ones that won. I think we picked like four winners. I promised them a release. They will get that release. Unfortunately, it's delayed because I didn't finish or didn't know how to finish or didn't feel like finishing the original. So that will never happen again. I'm sorry to the ones that won. They're waiting for it. To everyone out there that already knows the vocal and the original version, also sorry, it's coming soon. I will now focus since Watch Me Burn and Hold are basically done. I will focus 100% on finishing Ashes. And now you're probably thinking, what does it sound like? It's clear to say that the last in, the last in the ashes. again. I'm so lucky. She didn't even really notice that I was gone longer. Today's again the Germany's next top model shit on TV. I don't know why she's watching it. Probably nostalgic kind of. I mean, I also used to watch it back in the days. It was kind of cringy, funny, trash TV stuff. And there's actually one more thing. You see this one right here? I don't need it anymore. 
If anyone is interested, just like, subscribe, comment down below why you need it. It's full with dust. John Science Studio smell. My DNA in every little corner. Can mute, mono, A, B speakers, switch left and right, and inputs A and B. Good luck. I'll send it worldwide, even if the shipping is more expensive than the unit itself. But we'll see us tomorrow back again here on this channel for another vlog.